hi everyone welcome to my channel in this video i am going to show you how to make a basic crochet stitches single crochet half double crochet double crochet and triple crochet and their vertical height comparison so that you can know which stitch is more height required material yarn crochet hook and stitch markers for making single crochet first you need to make a slip knot and a foundation chain make as many chains as you want and as a foundation chain here i am making 12 chains for my work After making required number of foundation chain, initially there is a only one loop on a crochet hook. For making first single crochet, skip the first chain stitch from the crochet hook and insert hook into the second chain stitch from the crochet hook. Then wrap the yarn over the hook and pull it from back to front to make another loop on a crochet hook through the same stitch. Now there are two loops on a crochet hook. Again yarn over and pull it through both the loops to make a single crochet. Like this. See here. This is our first single crochet. I am using the stitch marker to mark the first single crochet. See here. It contains two loops on top of that single crochet. See here initially there is a only one loop on the crochet hook. For making second single crochet, insert the hook into the next stitch to the first single crochet. Then wrap the yarn over the hook and pull it from back to front to make another loop on a crochet hook through the same stitch. Now there are two loops on a crochet hook. Again yarn over and pull it through both the loops to make a single crochet. Repeat the same processor to the end of the row. For making last single crochet at the end of the row, take a little precaution to differentiate between the base of V-shape called chain stitch and the slip knot bump. You need to insert a crochet hook into the base of the V-shape. By doing this, we completed one full row. For making half double crochet, first make a slip knot and a foundation chain. Here I am making 12 chains in order to get 10 half double crochets. On a crochet hook does not count as a chain. The complete V shape is one chain. For half double crochet, and over one time. Next, skip first two chains from hook and insert into the third chain. And over one time, skip two chains from crochet hook and insert into the third chain from crochet hook. Again yarn over and pull it from back to front to make another loop on your crochet hook. Now there are three loops on your crochet hook. Next yarn over and pull it from back to front through all loops on your hook. 
This is the way of making half double crochet. Here I am using the switch marker to note down the first half double crochet. See here on top of the half double crochet stitch you can see a loop. The down two chains from the HDC loop is called the turning chain. For making second half double crochet insert hook into the next chain stitch to the previous half double crochet. Initially there is a one loop on a crochet hook. Next yarn over see here now two loops on a crochet hook. Then insert hook into the next chain stitch to the previous half double crochet. And pull it from back to front to make a another loop on a crochet hook. Now there are three loops on a hook. Next one more time yarn over. Pull it through all loops to make a second half double crochet. Continue the same processes to make half double crochets. At the last chain stitch, try to differentiate between the chain stitch and the slip knot. V shape is a chain stitch. Insert hook into the base of V shape. For making double crochet, first make a slip knot like this. Slip knot loop. We are going to insert the hook into the slip knot loop. This is the first loop. After slip knot, make a foundation chain. For a clear view of how to make a chain, please refer my previous video. For making double crochet, uh, skip first three chains and insert the hook into the fourth chain. The loop on the crochet hook is not considered as a chain stitch because it is not the full V shape. Skip first three chains that is the completion of V shapes. One, two, three. You are going to insert the hook into the this one, fourth chain. For making double crochet, first yarn over, insert the hook into the fourth chain, again yarn over and pull it from back to front to make another loop. See now there are three loops on a crochet hook. Next one more time yarn over and pull it from back to front through first two loops on a crochet hook like this see now there are two loops on a crochet hook one more time and over and pull it from back to front through remaining loops on a crochet hook like this this is the way of making double crochet we made one double crochet now Second double crochet, yarn over, insert the crochet hook into next chain stitch of the previous DC and pull it from back to front to make another loop on your crochet hook. Again yarn over, pull it from back to front through the first two loops on your crochet hook. Again yarn over and pull it from back to front through the remaining loops on a crochet hook. This is our second DC. Continue the same processor for the remaining double crochets.
take a little care at the end of the row try to differentiate between the slip knot bump and the last chain stitch insert the hook into the base of each stitch to make a last double crochet stitch for the first row For making triple crochet, first you need to make a slip knot and your foundation chain. How to make slip knot on foundation chain? Please refer my previous videos. Make as many chains as required. I am making 13 chains for my foundation chain here. The loop on the crochet hook is not considered as a chain. For making triple crochet, you need to skip the first four chains from the crochet hook. One, two, three, four. And insert the hook into the fifth chain from the crochet hook. One, two, three, four. Insert the hook into the fifth chain. The skipping 4 chains considered as a turning chain and that is the vertical height of the triple crochet. For triple crochet, first add over 2 times. Skip first 4 chains from crochet hook and insert hook into the 5th chain. Then add over 1 time and pull it from back to front to make another loop on your crochet hook. Now there are 4 loops on a crochet hook. Next, add over and pull it from back to front through first 2 loops on a crochet hook. This is the first stair of triple crochet. Next, add over and pull it from back to front through first 2 loops on a crochet hook. This is the second stair of a triple crochet. See now, there are only 2 loops on a crochet hook. 2 loops. Finally, add over and pull it from back to front through the remaining two loops on a crochet hook for completing one full triple crochet. Totally three stairs. This is the way of making triple crochet. See here, this is a turning chain and this one is the first triple crochet. For second triple crochet, First, add over crochet hook two times. Second, insert crochet hook into the next chain stitch of the previous triple crochet and pull it from back to front to, to make another loop on your crochet hook. See now there are four loops on your crochet hook. Again, add over and pull it from back to front through first two loops on your crochet hook. Now there are three loops on your crochet hook. Fifth step, again add over and pull it from back to front through the first two loops on a crochet hook. See now there are two loops on a crochet hook. Sixth step, finally add over and pull it from back to front through the remaining two loops on a crochet hook to complete a one full triple crochet. We completed two triple crochets now. Repeat the same processor for triple crochets. At the end of the chain, take little care to differentiate between the bump of the slip knot and the last chain stitch that is the slip knot bump and the last v shape is the last chain stitch insert the hook into the base of v shape to make a triple crochet 
This is one row of triple crochet. Here I am comparing the, the vertical height between a single crochet, half double crochet, double crochet and triple crochet. See here single crochet 1 cm height, half double crochet it is between 1 and 2 cm height. Double crochet is it cross two centimeters high. Triple crochet it cross with three centimeters height. By comparing all these four basic crochet stitches, single crochet is more dense and less height. Triple crochet is airy and more height. Thanks for watching my video. If you like my video, like, comment and subscribe.